Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we are going to explore another stage of lifespan development which is adolescent development or in short, it, uh, a due eh? <coughs> Adolescent First and foremost, we would like to actually understand what is the concept of adolescent itself It refers to a period of life from about the age of 13 to early 20s uh, during which a young person is no longer physically a child but not yet an independent self-supporting adult okay so it's like the middle uh, you know uh, path in which the physically you are already developed uh, however uh, in terms of supporting yourself you still rely on your parents okay some of you rely on your parents in order to support yourself such as you know you're getting your allowance and etc now, uh, so again, we're going to explore physical, cognitive and psychosocial development. For physical development of adolescent, everyone knows you already learned this in science. So I'll get uh, straight to the point for uh, adolescent physical development. The main concept basically is puberty. Okay, ataupun akil balir. Uh, it refers to the physical changes that occurs in the body as sexual development reaches its peak. So that's why in terms of physical development, it's already reaches full maturity. Okay, uh, that means it achieves full sexual function. Uh, due to the fact that uh, that's probably the reason why these stages of Akil Balil okay, is a stage whereby uh, you know he or she is you know acknowledged to be uh, uh, to, to allow to be married okay, because of the function that one of the function of marriage is to procreate okay, untuk nak menyambung zuriat and uh, akil balik is a stage whereby biologically speaking uh, the body is actually ready to procreate ataupun uh, mengeluarkan zuriat okay. now uh, so generally here this one is about 5 years ago uh, so it was found that uh, generally uh, girls uh, have a puberty age of more or less 10 years while boys more or less 12 years so back then back 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 in the 15 to 20 20 years ago actually yeah, i remembered during my primary school uh, stage in which there uh, it's quite common for puberty to happen ar around 15 to 16 years old Okay, uh, 16, uh, 15 to 16 years old, uh, some even 14 years old there. Uh, but right now, uh, you know, it was observed by uh, developmentalists uh, that the puberty age has become uh, younger and younger. Okay, so uh, so that's the reason. Probably, uh, uh, there's a lot of factors revolving this, but uh, no research have concluded. You know what's the real reason uh, behind this. So it just uh, to show that uh, the trend is like that. Eh? So the puberty age is getting younger and younger. Uh, particularly primary sex characteristic, uh, referring to the growth of male and female sex organ. Okay, uh, so I like kelamin lah in particular, okay, for the male and for the female, is already fully developed. And like I said again just now, eh, uh, what is the point whereby, you know, physical development is, is, is full, uh, is complete, is when the a person is physically able to uh, produce uh, ataupun procreate, to produce the next generation untuk nak melahirkan zuriat. Okay. Uh, the secondary sex organ, on the other hand, refers to breast and body part. Okay, so primary sex organ kena kena cakap terus terusang sikit eh. So it's basically the the penis for the male and the uh, the vagina for the female. Okay, in particular, so sex organ for for the female would be the ovary. Okay, the one that produces the egg. Okay, uh, in which it will be combined with the sperm of the male. So this is fully developed and this is referring to primary sex characteristic. There's also secondary sex characteristic which are breast and body hair. So breast is for the female, body hair is for both male and female. I'm not quite sure uh, what and you know when I read you know articles as well, scientists also were not sure uh, what is actually the function of body hair in particular. Yeah? A direct function in terms of that but so far that they know uh, they claim that it is a sign that the body has reached its uh, physical maturity for breast on the other hand you can really actually understand that uh, breast is you know an organ in which it is uh, to help prepare uh, for the procreation that means that uh, you know that when, when when a baby is born the baby needs milk so the breast need to be uh, developed 
So the the breast need to be developed first in order for the baby uh, to actually uh, continue uh, its life, eh, in which uh, it produce uh, breast milk, one of the best milk in the world. Okay, now uh, uh, we need to also uh, put in our uh, Islamic uh, perspective. Uh, there was this one particular hadith by our Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us that uh, when uh, this is the narration uh, in Sahih Bukhari five zero six six, we were with our Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam while we were young and had no wealth. So our Rasul said, "Oh, young people, ya yeah, ayuhai shabab." Whoever among you can marry should marry because it helps him lower his gaze and guard his modesty. Okay, jaga kehormatannya, i.e. his private parts from committing illegal sexual intercourse or zina to protect him from committing zina. And whoever is not able to marry should fast berpuasa as fasting diminishes his sexual power so this is the uh, nak katanya advice of our rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam so it's interesting that uh, you know puberty is given so it is not a curse okay so it is not a curse bukan satu okay denda ataupun curse that you like uh, the sexual uh, the the opposite gender uh, you like okay you think about sex for example that is natural that is sunnatullah okay uh, that's when this hadith taught us to manage it uh, how do you manage it Okay, so it's natural that you like the opposite gender. It is natural that you have sexual thoughts. Okay, but you know that you know Allah also taught us through our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to manage that, to manage our thoughts. Okay, by you know uh, taking care of uh, our 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 gaze. Okay, jaga pandangan. Okay, taking care of our speech. Jaga. Okay, apa apa. Uh, apa, uh, what we say contohnya with the opposite gender uh, you know uh, take care of the uh, the opposite uh, the relationship with the opposite gender like ikhtilat right the concept of uh, you know taking care of ikhtilat for example and if let's say it is so strong uh, you know the hadith also mentioned that go and get married so that you are protected from the one that is haram uh, if you know you are not able to get married then uh, you know fast or do some other things as well okay uh, such as you know uh, you know uh, taking care of your ikhtilat okay uh, you know making sure that you are not you know viewing any kind of uh, illicit things okay such as pornography and etc uh, and the last one for physical development would be uh, puberty occurs as a result of pituitary gland kelenjar pituitary okay this is the gland that actually uh, increases the rate of growth okay thyroid gland okay increases the rate of growth So this is you know the gland that responsible for you know uh, puberty or okay, ataupun physical growth during uh, you know adolescence. So this is in benda inilah yang bertanggungjawab eh, dengan izin Allah. Right. So Allahu alam insyaallah we're going to go to the next perspective of development.